What's going on guys? So this is my turbo project E46. This will be the first video in a series. I don't like talking videos all too much, um, but I'm going to explain it, kind of explain what the other videos will be like or about, um, just as an introduction, kind of a part one, whatever. So this is my 2002 325 CI with a facelift front end. Um, it has Verostin, Verostone, whatever. Uh, ES2s, 18 by 9.5 squared. Horrendous, horrendous cut in the rear because I'm putting on Must Custom rear over fenders. And I'll make a video on that as well. They're beautiful. They fit perfectly as it sits, other than all the dust and the tape. This is exactly how they came. Um, they're 34 millimeters wider. They are the exact body uh, mold of an M3 and they fit perfectly right out of the box. I got them with a group buy, so I ended up only paying like $510 shipped from Poland, which is awesome. I waited about a month, but they've been sitting for a couple more than that, so the wait wasn't all too bad. Um, the car itself, as I was going over, it has coilovers, uh, 2004 facelift front end, um, just cheap coilovers got like 200,000 on the body. I paid $300 for the car. I slammed it into a curb. Right there. I got some ZHP side skirts that I have to put on as well. I'll do that in the same video as the over fenders. Um, I have a, I just put in a Vercaro Profi SPG and I have a Renown um, Chicane leather steering wheel. So, I mean, it's a decent base. It's not bad. It was automatic, but for drivetrain, um, I got it completely rebuilt with like 10,000 miles on it. A, uh, it used to be a 2.5, but now it is a 3.0 stroker. So it has 3.0 cams, 3.0 road jetting assembly, pretty much anything to make it the 3.0. Um, the rest is the same, and the, the block and the heads are pretty much the same, or the head, I should say. Um, and then it has, unfortunately, it came with a get rag. That was fine. I did have a ZF transmission swap, but I ended up selling that because I didn't think I was going to go turbo. But this is a brand new uh, OEM clutch, so not a cheap aftermarket, but it's not really going to hold too much. Um, I figure that's fine for now. I'm going to go low boost. Eventually, my plan is 500 horsepower, which is totally obtainable. I've seen it done on an unopened engine. Um, these ins and engines are super capable, really underrated. Um, people say that about any engine, but I've seen up to 680 wheel horsepower unopened, and I've seen around 900 wheel on um, a stock bottom end, which is incredible. For I paid 500 for this entire drivetrain. Um, you know, it has a brand new water pump thermostat. It came with brand new um, coil packs. Like I said, completely rebuilt, so new head, head gasket, all new gaskets. The only gasket it didn't come with um, or wasn't replaced was the oil pan gasket which I don't care too much because I'm going to take the oil pan off to um, thread in the oil return bung, which I just ordered all the parts. That's why it's sitting here. I want to do the oil pan gasket and the oil return line. And um, it's on the other side, but I put the, I test fitted the turbo manifold, which I'll talk about in a second. So it's a CX racing, but the, uh, the studs, since they're old and rusty, one of them broke and the rest either came out um, on their own or just look really crappy. So what I did was I ordered N54 E92, I believe, or E90. It's probably the same um, exhaust manifold studs. And what's cool with that is they have, on the end, you can put a torque. So you can actually, you can just screw them on with a ratchet rather than having to do the double nut method. Um, they're also way cheaper. I paid $14 ship for 16 of them, which is all you need for this engine. And then copper nuts, um, about fifteen dollars. I still have to order them. Um, if not, my friend has some extra ones, and and I'm gonna have those. So, like I was saying, this is the turbo setup right here. So this is a CX racing kit. Um, the intercooler and everything else is over there. It's the complete kit. Um, the only thing that was missing was gaskets and um, oil lines. So I went ahead and ordered those. Um, this it has about. 500 to 800 miles on it. I'm not exactly 100% sure. That's just what they said. Um, I got a stupid good deal on it. Um, like I said, I, I wasn't expecting to go turbo for a long time, but I got such a good deal. I could not pass it up. Um, I ended up paying like $350 
plus I got a bunch of extra parts with it. Um, and everything's in actually pretty good condition. Like I said, it really doesn't have that many miles on it. So that's the turbo setup. It's a GT35 rep or knockoff from uh, CX Racing. It is oil and water cooled. Um, the water cool lines are kind of just blocked off. I'm I'm not. I'm just gonna keep it oil cooled. Um, for injectors, I'll come over here. The, the garage is a complete mess. So for injectors, I had a previous turbo project which I ended up not finishing, which was a Chevy and these injectors brand new are 42.5 pound injectors and they actually fit perfectly and they're pretty much brand new flow tested so i'm putting those in um i had those from a previous project i ended up paying 100 dollars. they're about almost 300 new so i wasn't complaining at all um and then along with that obviously manual swap i got a garage stick dssr um i also got uh, not sure where it is at the moment. I think it's in the car. Um, I got a click tuning body mount shifter. Um, and then I already have the pedals and all the clutch lines plumbed in. So I kind of skipped all the boring parts for the video. Um, this weekend, all the parts should come in. So I should be able to assemble the engine completely and get ready to completely put it in. And then um, I will be going over tuning. I'm going to be doing it myself um, with a friend, more than likely, and I'll kind of go over how to do it, how to do it yourself. And the point of me making the videos is I want to track it, I want to be able to go back and watch it, um, see how far I've progressed, see how far the car has come, because it's not going to look like this forever. It's, I mean, I've I started working on it in January, I crashed it in, uh, I think, December or January, somewhere around there. Put the new front end on and i pretty much got all these parts up until now um i just got the engine out maybe a month or so ago it's kind of just been sitting um but i want to prove that you can turbo a car turbo an e46 reliably and make 300 to 500 horsepower for under three grand 